just getting ridiculous. Well, I'm completely out of suggestions. How about we call her cell phone and make up some kind of emergency? Would that work? OK, hit me with it. Big shock. It's about Paris. What did she do now? Nothing. It's what's been done to her. The howl raising is complete. She's out? The board has spoken. More like screamed. Oh, boy. How did she take it? She hasn't. She won't come out of her bunker. She's been in there for hours. Even Hitler came out every once in a while to walk his dog. I interrupted Her Highness while she was on the phone and got a 5,000-word lecture on Robert's rules of order. Well, she's got to be told. Then she's got to come out. Tear gas. Where can we find tear gas? Or we could set off the fire alarm. Stand down, everyone. I'll tell her. Really? It's probably better that the person delivering the news doesn't chuckle with glee while doing it, Bill. I would not chuckle while doing it. Oh, my God, that was completely inadvertent. All right, I'm going in. I know, Mr. Weisner, it was a complete screw-up. Here's what happened. Your ad ran with the phone number of the beauty supply store ad from the next page. That's why you're getting calls about hair gel and moisturizers. Anyway, I really want you to rest easy, and I hope this does not interfere with any financial contributions that you've been generous enough to promise. All right? Thank you. Right. This job is 24-7. Yeah. It's not enough to put out a daily paper of outstanding quality without having to dodge complaints from uppity alumni calling over every little mistake. Wisner threatened to withhold money he'd already pledged for the new computers because his ad was messed up. I mean, can he even do that? I don't know. You want some soup? I was just heating up some soup. There's no ventilation in here. I'm careful. Right. Uh, well, no, thank you. Um, I just came in here to... I was just thinking... Yeah? <laughs> Five plus years hmm. that we've known each other, that we've been friends. Five plus. That long, wow. Feels like forever ago to me. Chilton, the day we met, just a couple of rosy cheek kids. My face inflamed easily back then. Too many tomatoes and red peppers. Got off to kind of a rocky start. We were competitors. Get that from my mother. She's part biking. But eventually we became pals, good pals, because we respected each other and supported each other in good times and bad. Did I open this can today or yesterday? This is a not so good time, Paris. I know. If the hurricanes don't kill us, the bird flu will. I mean, for you, here at the paper. The board voted you out. Oh. I see. So it's over. I'm sorry. I just found out. I'm so sorry. Well, it's not like I didn't have a clue that that was a possibility. It has been pretty tense around here. So are they all out there excitedly awaiting my perp walk? Oh, who cares? Who cares about them? You don't perp walk. You're Paris Geller. You walk tall. You're better than all of them. Really? Definitely. And this job, Paris, being editor, you don't need this, this hassle. You're going to be a doctor. Surgeon. And a lawyer. Judge. That's a hell of a workload. And the workload here, the indignities, smoothing the ruffled feathers of advertisers, covering sports as if they matter. You're exhausted, Paris. Stretched thin, eating soup out of a can. Soup I don't even like. This might not be such a bad thing, leaving this job, huh? I am pretty tired. You even look a little relieved. And I'll be damned if I'm going to give those people a perp walk. Good. Good attitude. Let's get out of this spider hole and take care of this right now. I am with you, friend. <laughs> Better shut out the hot plate. Right. Yeah. Everyone, I have a little announcement, so if you could gather around, please. We have an issue. You see, it has become increasingly apparent that I have become the story here at the Yale Daily News and that I have overshadowed our journalistic efforts. Well, I don't want to be the story at my own newspaper because then I'd be Judith Miller and I'd have to wear my bangs too long and overdo my lipstick. And I don't want that. I want to remain me. So I am tendering my resignation as editor-in-chief effective immediately. In closing, I'd like to state that the Yale Daily News has overcome numerous obstacles in its august history and that it will easily overcome this. My resignation will be a loss, but it will be a loss the Daily News can survive, and it is a loss it must survive. Good night and good luck. <laughs>